Hey guys, this is Tim here with Test Demi. We're back, and for today's video, we're gonna be looking at what's called for loops. So let's jump into the video, shall we? Let's go! Come on! All right, today's uh, we have quite a bit to jump into, so we're gonna get right into the code. Uh, let's go ahead and adjust our screen here, and we're gonna enter distraction free mode. All right, so for loops. What exactly are loops? Loops are the ability to execute a code or a piece of code continually till an actual condition is met right so for example as opposed to me writing uh print hello world a hundred times i can just use a for loop i can say for i in range print hello world so that would do it a hundred times as opposed to me manually typing print hello world print hello world so that's one good thing to that condition is met that loop stops so it just keeps looping through uh, a particular condition or a particular block of code till a particular condition is met that's when it stops okay uh, the other part of a for loop it says that uh, uh, you can use for loops to kind of iterate through a variety of different kind of data types you can use it you can use our uh, for loops to iterate through uh, strings we're gonna look at that iterate through list Iter iterate through tuples and also to iterate through dictionaries other thing you gotta keep in mind is when a loop iterates through uh, an iterable it's all is known as iterating and so we're just going to kind of look at a few examples all right so i've already i already have some templates and free uh pre set up code uh block set up with some comments so kind of help us go through this so the first one we're going to look at uh a for loop that iterates through a, a characters in a string so the character we have is an address and we're just going to call the address one two three uh main street okay right and you can see this string, this is an iterable, str iterable string, right? So we're going to do a for loop here. And this, this is the uh, syntax in Python, the keyword for. You're going to say for, and you can call this next part, you can call it whatever you want. You can type in whatever you want. Whatever you want to call this, you can call this, okay? Uh, so but in our case, we're just going to call it, because all it is, it's just a temporary variable that's assigned each time through, uh, assigned a, uh, an item each time when it goes through the loop. OK, so in our case, what we're going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, um, gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> all right, what we're going to do all here is we're going to say for uh, let's just say for character, call it C.A.R. for short for character, for character in again, this uh, keyword in uh, and now it's going to be in the address. So this address is a string, right? Right. Uh, so for character and address string and with for loops, you always want to make sure you have your colon remember we talked about that with the uh the if l if l if else condition statements all right so hit enter again it's going to indent it with python with the block of code and you're going to say uh pretty simple it's going to say print and we're going to print what's the character so uh let's go ahead and print it so actually let me tell you what's happening what's happening here is when you begin to iterate through this iterable which is the string iterable uh each time you go through the loop what's going to happen is the first time around this loop that car actually what's really going on there uh python is going to assign car actually let me let's just do this let's do this the first time around python is going to assign car is going to be the number one so which is going to be this first item right it's going to iterate iterate through every particular index right it's going to be the number one okay um this next time around the loop right car this character is going to be number two. So what we're going to do, here, you can look at it like this. First time around, it's really going to be just one. It's really going to be one here. And what it's going to do is going to print one, right? It's going to print one on the screen. So that's the first time it goes around the loop. So you can pretty much say, you can pretty much look at it like this. And I'm, I want to just take my time on this first one. So we're all on the same page. Okay. Uh, you can pretty much look at it like this. You can say, uh, let's just make this a string. Okay. All right, you can say for one, the number one in one, two, three, it's pretty much the same print one. So it's going to print one the first time around. The next time around is going to change this to two. And your character here is going to be two. Okay. And this is going to be print two. Same thing for number three, right? Character, the CAR, the value, whatever you call it, you can, again, you can call this whatever, right? And it's going to print three. So it just, it iterates through the loop it just keeps iterating it just it just iterates and it updates that particular um temporary variable right uh so keep in mind when you get here this is what you, uh great thing this is going to be an empty string right it's just pretty much going to be an empty string nothing is here right it's going to be nothing here. this is also going to be an empty string because it's actually a space 
right? There's actually a space here. That's what's going on. So like I said, it goes through every particular index. And same thing here. It's an empty string. So that's pretty much what's going on. I'm just going to kind of go back to the original code, right? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and print this first one out. And you guys are going to see what I'm saying here. All right. So when we run it, if you notice it, it iterates through this string uh, particular um variable called address and you can see one was the first time like printed like we showed in our example the number two number three ah see that space uh main street space main space then street so that's that's how you iterate using a for loop through a string because if not you have to type uh you know you have to type print you know one print two print three all the way time but when you have a for loop you can kind of go through that faster it just kind of goes through the cycle so that's a string. Now let's look quickly. Let's look at uh, iterating through a list, right? Remember we talked about a list uses the open and close square brackets. So our list is going to be, uh, we're going to call it our favorite book. So we're going to say the Bible, right? It's going to say the Bible is one, put a comma. The next one we're going to say Think and Grow Rich. It's probably going to have three books here. Think and Grow Rich. Uh, the next one we're going to say, let's call this uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. All right, so this is pretty good books, pretty popular books, um, pretty good books. And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to do, again, same thing. Again, we're iterating, this iterating through this time a particular list. So we're going to say for, we're going to say books. Notice, notice this time I'm calling it books. For books in um, favorite books, favorite books. Remember your colon, don't forget that. And what you're going to do, you're going to print books, right? So what do we want to do here? Uh, same thing here. Again, the first time around. It's going to be the Bible. This is going to be uh, the Bible. First time around, the Bible in this particular list. All right. So it's going to print. So books, this first time around the loop, is going to be equals to, it's going to be equals to the Bible. Okay. Uh, it's going to be equals to the Bible. Then it's going to actually here, it's actually going to print. It's actually going to print the Bible. So it's going to do the same first thing around, first time around. Next time around, it's going to print um, uh, Think and Grow Rich and so forth. Um, what you can also do is you can also add this. This is pretty cool. You can say, uh, let's just, okay, let's get our code back the way it was, right? Um, uh, let's see, print books, right? So what we can do this time, you can say, my first, okay, let's put this in a string. I just want to show you guys something. You can say, my first favorite book. Uh, you can say is put a little space here between and you want to concatenate uh, then it's going to add each remember each time it's going to loop around my faith my first favorite book um uh let's see here da, da, da. maybe we shouldn't call that first because it's gonna uh it's gonna say let's see let's just call this my favorite books are okay one of my favorite books is yeah let's just call that i think it's probably gonna be simpler one of my favorite books is is yeah then it's going to iterate through that okay so let's go ahead and uh, print that out <clears throat> and you can see it here it says one of my favorite books is the bible one of my favorite books is think and grow rich it integrates think and grow rich the second time the third time around that loop one of my favorite books is rich dad poor dad and notice the for loop stops because it's, it, it met that all three conditions like i said with for loops when it meets a condition in other words, in this case, it is iterated through every item because each item in, in this list is an each item in the list. The Bible, Think and Grow Rich and Rich Dad Poor, them are items. Each time around, it iterates through and it meets that condition and it stops, okay? Now, let's look at a few more. Let's look at two more. Let's look at a tuple. Let's look at our driver license numbers with a tuple here. And we're going to call these driver license numbers um, here in Texas the eight digits. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, well, sorry, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we're going to say, actually, nine, what, what, eight, why don't I go to nine? Okay. I'm too excited. All right. So let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right. And let's go to zero, 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 four, 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 four. All right. So those are, are, um, those are the, so let's just do that right there. Uh, so those are the, okay. Uh, look, yeah. So those are our driver license numbers, right? In this particular tuple. All right, so we're going to say for, so what is it complaining about here? 
Okay, it doesn't like the zero, zero, zero. Okay, so let's just do four, 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 four. All right, there we go. So we're going to say four uh, numbers. Oops. We're going to say four numbers. In, and this will enter in through a tuple. And driver license numbers, colon. We're going to say print numbers. All right, and it's going to print the tuple out here. This one's pretty straightforward. So it prints our list of our our um our items our driver license numbers in the tuple and finally let's look at a dictionary here and we're gonna look at dictionary uh we're gonna uh use a for loop to iterate iterate through uh, items in a dictionary uh, we shouldn't say items you say key value pairs right we should say key value pairs all right in a dictionary so let's say the first one is um we're gonna call it uh check-in check-in account all right and that's the first value first key sorry and we're going to say the value is, let's say, 100, uh, 100 bucks. All right. And we're going to say the next one is savings. Savings account. And um, we're going to say the next value there is 200. All right. And the final one is we're going to say um, stocks. All right. St stocks portfolio. Portfolio. Port. Port. Portfolio, sorry, my spelling is funny. All right, portfolio. I'm just gonna say maybe let's say let's call this 300 bucks. I know it's looking for, uh, it's looking for. Oops, it didn't like that. Sorry. There we go. And like our colon. All right. So, uh, so what you want to do here is you want to do for. In this case, what it does is gonna print the actual. We're gonna say for account types, it prints the key when it goes through the when it loops through. Uh, the dictionary for dictionary the for loops is actually going to print the key so you're going to say for account types in um accounts you're going to say print account types print account types right and let's go ahead and right click here and notice it print, printed the right click the uh account types uh with the for loop uh in this dictionary key value pair it actually printed the keys Okay, Let me, let's look at one more thing. I want to introduce what's called like the break statement uh, using for loops. Uh, so let's go ahead and copy this uh, bit of code here uh, from our list example. All right, so we're looking at our favorite books in the Bible. So we're going to say here, um, for example, you know, if you create like what's called like a, a web scraper, uh, in other words, which which uh, you can create a, a piece of program or code that goes online and pulls data from different websites. That's pretty much what it does. And let's say you have HTML um, uh, links, right? Uh, URLs in the in, as far as that are actually your items in your actual list. And for example, perhaps maybe you want to, you've already found your condition you're looking for, you want it to stop. You don't want it to actually condition. Like, let's say you have about 20 items in this list. You want it to just stop. You can use what's called a breaking point. So let's just use the book, for example. Uh, so we're saying, um, so we're going to say for books and favorite books, you're going to say now, remember we talked about if and the if, uh, L if condition. So we're going to say if, um, if books, right? So remember the first time it's, it's each item is selected one at a time. So in this case, it's going to say if the Bible, if think and grow rich or rich dad, poor dad. So in this case, it says if books equals, uh, let's just say here, um, let's say rich dad poor dad let's say we found what we're looking for if if it reach remember don't forget your colon so what you want to do is print um print books right so you want to go ahead and print it out if it reached that condition right oops print books then what you want to do is you want to break right so for books in favorite books um for books and favorite books if as it goes through, actually, let's not use Rich Dad Poor Dad. Let's actually use uh, Think and Grow Rich since it's the middle because Rich Dad Poor Dad is already at the end of our list. All right, so let's just, um, let's use that. So, you know, we'll go through the Bible. We'll find that. Um, then once it finds Think and Grow Rich, it's actually going to stop right there. So let's go ahead and uh, run this. And if you notice exactly what it did, it didn't go all the way. It didn't print. Um, it, didn't, it didn't get to where it said uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. As soon as it found uh, Think and Grow Rich, it met that condition. It, it got to the breaking point. It went ahead and stopped the actual program. So that's it for for loop guys. Hope you guys learned something. What I want you to do for you is practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you 
in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, testdemi.com for free QA and software testing videos and tutorials. And also, don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube page for, next, for new, fresh data and videos live and direct to your inbox. See you soon. Peace. We out.